Hi hello students welcome to let's understand physics today i would like to tell you a story once upon a time there was a king he was great wise strong and courageous he had three sons as he had become old he wanted to transfer his crown to one of his sons but he preferred to transfer the crown to the best one instead of the first one so he called all his sons one day to his room in his palace and told his sons that he would like to conduct a test to select the person who will sit on the throne so the test he told to his sons is to bring anything which they can carry on their own but it has to fill the room okay so the first one second one and third one all the three thought to get something then they have to fill the room first the first one has come he brought cotton bags filled with cotton and started spreading the floor spreading the cotton on the floor then whatever he brought he could fill only the floor so what happened he thought he failed so he returned then the second son approached the room with grass bags then he also started filling the room but he could fill only half of the room so he also returned later by evening the third son reached the room and opened his pocket he carried some candles and a matchbox in his pocket he placed them on the table at the middle of the room and lit the candles soon the room is filled with light and all the things are visible so the father felt very happy and he called all the people of kingdom and declared the third son as the king because he is smart he could think in the critical situation also and wise strong and courageous as well so here what is this light so light is a form of energy isn't it light is a form of energy and what it does it makes things visible with light we can see the things around us now in this universe there are some objects which can give light on their own so those objects we call them as luminous objects so luminous objects mean the objects can give or produce light on their own in this also in these luminous objects we have two types one is natural luminous objects and the other one is artificial in natural luminous objects we have sun stars light worm or we can call it as glow worm some types of fish bacteria and jelly is also can produce light on their own so these light worms bacteria are called bio luminous objects because they have life okay and artificial luminous objects artificial luminous objects are man made they are lights and bulbs etc non luminous objects means the objects 
which do not produce light on their own they don't have their own light they are moon planets and all the other things human beings tables chairs metals all those things they do not have light on their own so here important question is about moon generally they ask and planets also sometimes they ask because we have learnt in 8th standard some planets and moon generally we can see in the universe yes or no now are these moon and planets luminous or not they are non luminous because they do not have their own light planets are same like our earth even moon is also same like our earth earth do not have its own light isn't it the the same way moon and planets also do not have their own light they just reflect the light falling on them from the sun okay i think all of you understood about luminous objects and non luminous objects in luminous objects what are the natural luminous objects and artificial luminous objects and light light is a form of energy it makes things visible so how it makes things visible we'll see in the next video thank you please like share comment and subscribe to let's understand physics